So I've had a clean up of the seam lines and I've got a few areas I need to fill to clean it up. Um, <clears throat> from then, when that's done, it'll be getting near paint stage. There's a lot of heap of parts to go on still, but most of this I'll leave off and paint it separate because it's just going to be, especially the wheels and that, be all that things hanging off it everywhere. It's just be easier to paint it with it all off. I've also done the, or uh, we'll put together the road ahead, and it's uh, added a bit of lead wire around the head for the hydraulics, but that went together all right, and uh, putting together the other doors the master windows and paint them up we will go from there okay so everything's prepared ready for paint uh, the only other thing I added to the fuselage was the uh, intake cooling systems everything else is prepared up to paint a separate for ease um, put the windscreen in it was wasn't a brilliant fit and there's a big gap there I'm gonna use some perfect plastic putty that stuff put in there because it cleans up with water and I'll just smooth it out but fortunately you're not gonna see the back side of it from the instrument panel otherwise you'd have a big white area where you could see from inside looking out uh, what else issues I had was the uh, the front wheels when you put them together they, there was a gap and it ended up being the uh, the center hub inside is raised so they were meeting on the inside and causing a gap so I had to I use a Dremel and a stone bit to grind them down so I could get get them to to join. I, at first, I thought it was the locating pins, but it wasn't. It was the center. Uh, otherwise, that was two major problems I had. Uh, so now I have the mask off, so I don't get overspray inside, and I'm going to prime it uh, black. So I'll be doing a black base for the uh, painting of the aircraft. Okay, blue is down. Uh, I thought it was pretty bright, but I looked up uh, references online and it, it seems right. I just went with what uh, Trumpeter called out for, which was H25 sky blue. And it was uh, a mix with white. 70 30 70 percent of the blue and 30 percent white and i mottled it on and then i thinned thinned it more with uh some more leveling thin up and added a bit more white and went over it again marbling to change the tone uh so next i'll mask this off and then it's on to the green the top color all right excuse my messy spray booth but this quickly showing that the blue is masked off primed with black ready for the uh, top coat which is uh, I'm using Tamiya deep green XF26 that's the closest match I got in my paints for the call out and then I'll uh, post shade over the base when I've done that color with mixing yellow into the green to change the tone uh, I'll just show a little bit on this rear door, it's not really exciting how I'm doing it, but I just turn my uh, extractor on, so I'm just going to marble with the paint.
that's to start with I'm gonna keep I randomly spray it until I'm happy with that you still want some of the black to show through like a pre-shade and then I'll change the uh, tone of the green by adding yellow and go the same process over it again just randomly spraying all right top coat or top color is down green as you can see I've lightened it I did that about uh, I started with the just the base green and I lightened it about three or four times going over it it's had a gloss coat so uh, next up I'll be taking the uh, mask off the bottom and the uh, fuselage can have its decals on.